Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. Tonight I have an event in LA, like Santa Monica, and if you live in Orange County, you know that is so freaking far away. Let's just see exactly where it is. See, oh, it's closer to Beverly Hills actually, but it's literally like next to Santa Monica. This event is with Princess Polly, um, and I love Princess Polly and the whole team, and I love working with them, so I'm really excited to go to this Friendsgiving. Um, I've never actually, have I been to a Friendsgiving? I don't think I've ever had a Friendsgiving. Not that I don't have friends, my friends and I just never can figure out a time to do Friendsgiving. But I think we're going to do one this year with just like my home friends and stuff. So I'm really excited about that. I just showered and everything, obviously. Um, if you're wondering why this eye is really red is because if you haven't watched my latest video, I talked about how I got allergic reaction to the Neutrogena makeup wipes like in the blue package that everybody uses or most people use. And I've been using them for years and... I opened up a new pack and then all of a sudden it just gave me such a bad allergic reaction like all around my eye. I'll insert pictures around here if you guys really want to see the worst of it. This is actually on its way out. I'm really, really excited to be back to normal. It looks like I literally got punched in the eye. A rush down here and like on my jawline where you guys can see that. And then down here. Yeah, on steroids to get rid of it. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I am. Besides the point, I'm really excited about this event tonight. And this video is not sponsored by Princess Polly. I'm just showing you guys and getting like a feel for what I do to get ready for an event. It's only 3.30 and I'm leaving here around like 6.30 because I don't want to be the first one there. But I want to be on time-ish. So I'll probably get there around 7.30 if I leave at 6.30. I'm going to go ahead and do my skincare routine. That video is coming soon. So just wait. I'm gonna self tan because the dress I'm wearing tonight is like green. Also, okay, so Princess Polly styled me is styling me for this event, so they sent me clothes to wear, but I picked all dresses not thinking anything because it's been like 90 degrees the past week, except for today, it's been 52 and raining. A bitch is gonna be cold. We're just gonna suffer, okay? Let's go ahead and do my skincare routine. It's looking a little dry. There's like no shine to it, so. Let's go moisturize this baby up. Okay, <laughs> I look like... What's that character on Harry Potter? I've been watching the Harry Potter series. I don't know why I'm blanking on his name, but you know who I look like. Oh, to finish off with skincare, I'm gonna... I just did my basic routine. I put Aquaphor on my rash because it's really dry and the doctor told me to. Curology, non-spons, but the Rich Moisturizer. I freaking love their products. They're the company that literally saved my skin. Um... I owe everything to them. And then I'm going to prep the under eyes um, way before I do my makeup with the Kiehl's eye cream with avocado. And I'm just going to do it mostly on this side because I have a rash, like the rash continues down here. So I'm just going to put it on like the outside of my eye. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for like an, mm, what time is it? 3.45? I'm gonna set this, let this sit for like an hour without doing anything to my face, just to let the products really seep into my skin. Um, so it's ready for makeup. Okay, now it is 4.51. I have an hour to get ready. That is stressful. We're gonna go ahead and blow dry my hair. Ooh. Look how dead and fried it is. To myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world. Okay, so I'm all blow dried for the most part. Um, I'm gonna let my hair sit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump into makeup. Oh wait, I'm not gonna do makeup. I need to self tan before I do anything. Or should I just be pale? No, sis needs to self tan. Since I already prepped my skin, I don't really need to do anything with that. So I'm just gonna go right in with foundation.
quickly I want to talk about not my problem with going to events but my problem with going to events it's not necessarily an event it's more of just like a, a party with um, Princess Polly I have this like weird anxiety about going to events I don't know why it's maybe it's because like I don't know anybody there like a lot of the times or like you know I feel like left out or something um I'm like really bad with like stepping out of my comfort zone like that like going to LA by myself and like meeting new people and everything kind of scares me and so normally out of this situation like I would find an excuse not to go whether it be like like for instance if it were today and this if I wasn't like forcing myself to go I would have been like oh sorry like you know I broke out in a allergic reaction over my face I can't go whatever something like that because it gives me an excuse not to go when really the allergic reaction is not stopping me from doing anything I'm really trying to work on that especially going into the new year because I'm trying to do things for myself and like not necessarily like what I want to do but like things that will help me like in the future and things that will get me out of my comfort zone so I can be more prepared to be out of my comfort zone when I'm older. I don't know if that makes any sense, but let me know if you guys have the same kind of like fear. Like I'm such a dependent person. Like for instance, like even right now, my friend Sienna, Mirabella, you guys probably know her, but my friend Sienna is going and I was like, hey, like, are you going? And then she's like, yeah, but like, I'm down to not go if you're not going or whatever. So we're both like on the fence about it. She texts me, she's like, oh, I'm not going. I decided not to go and whatever. And then I was like, Sienna, no. And so I'm such a like a dependent person, but then she's going now <laughs> because I just told her I was going. But I, that's kind of an issue for me because I want to do everything with like somebody I know, you know, like I want to have... Like, I hate being alone. I want to always be with somebody I know, whether it be my boyfriend, one of my best friends, like, like my internet friends. I want them to be there in order for me to go. And I'm proud of myself for, like, continuing to go. And I was still going to go whether Sienna was going or not. But, yeah, I'm really trying to work on that this year. And trying to better myself as, like, an independent person, you know. I'm trying not to be so dependent on everybody. Because at the end of the day, all I have is myself. And I have severe, like, not severe, but, like, I have, like, pretty bad, like, social anxiety where, like, I don't, like, my friends are my friends. I don't want to, like, make new friends. And I hate, like, I don't know if that makes any sense at all. And I'm like, oh, no, like, I have my friends, like, for life, you know? Like, I don't need to meet anybody else. Like, I don't need to, like you know, step out of my comfort zone to like make new friends and everything, but I really do because it's good to have a lot of friends in different areas because it can help you in the long run. Good networking opportunity and I just think that like, I'm like, okay, sis, like I gotta do something for myself to like better my future and stuff, whether it be on YouTube, whether it be in like real life, school, whatever it is. That's kind of my like resolution for 2020 is to step out of my comfort zone a little bit more and like do things I wouldn't normally do and I don't have to do it with somebody you know what I'm saying like I need to stop relying on my boyfriend or like my sister or like my best friends or whatever to like have fun or like to do things you know what I'm saying I don't know if that makes any sense or I'm just a crazy person I am though only gonna go for a little bit because I do have school tomorrow and I have actually to go to court tomorrow so I have to wake up super early um not for any scary reasons but um it's for like a class like observation I have to like observe like a drug court so 8 30 or something and it's like down by the beach too so I have to deal with morning traffic and everything oh my god I didn't even think about that orange <laughs> just kidding I don't know if I've already told you guys this, but this is the best blush ever. It's Kylie Kitten Baby. Orangey peach color. Like I need to be more orange. Time for my favorite part, lashes. Let it get tacky. I'm gonna plug my straightener in and get this mane figured out okay excuse okay no i can't just excuse that okay so far i've gotten ready in 40 minutes and that is insane that is 
a new record. So, straightening my hair because it's the easiest and the fastest. And that way it looks good for court tomorrow. <laughs> I learned from Brad Mondo to go slow with the flat iron. To really give a good, nice, sleek look. My hair is looking sleek. It's looking really straight and blonde. Now I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna try on the two dresses that I got, actually got from them, but let's go get the dresses. Okay, so this is the green one. This is the one I'm always thinking I'm wearing tonight. Oh, I have no boobs, this is sad. Okay, and then this is the second one. Obviously it's way too tiny for the weather. It would be like a summer dress. I don't know if it's very short also, so. Yeah, obviously not wearing this. Okay, so this is the fit. I'm just bringing the jacket because I think it's an outside like rooftop kind of thing. I am bringing a jacket just in case. Um, and then this green dress, obviously from Princess Polly and Doc Martens. And I put my hair up in this bun just because I felt like it needed a little something. But honestly, I'm like, if it's inside, I'm just gonna ditch the jacket and then just wear this because I think this is a lot cuter because I don't have a jacket that matches this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go on over to the vent and I'll see you there. I got it pretty like a girl. And he got five stories to tell. See both sides like you know. See on both sides like you know. Swimming like through the pool water. Eat it like I'm underworld. Had my tattoos in Shibuya. Police think I'm out the underworld. Twelve treat a nigga like he twelve. Hey, looking up to me and talking down. Don't you see I am the big man? All level I am the I am. I'm filming with the drone cam and the pink like killer cam. I don't wanna stick, no way. Also, kill someone I kill. Controller on your lower back, yeah, that's good. Dick with all the eyes back in the scrub. Rollin', ride, rollin' when you ride, ride, ride. Come on, so hit that.